at Grace Church, Pastor Charlie here. Just wanted to take a moment to encourage you today. You know, whenever I start a new journal, I've got this sticky note that I transfer over to each journal. And on this sticky note is written this simple question. Is Jesus enough? Now, of course, from Scripture, from Genesis to Revelation, we read over and over again the sufficiency of God. We read that He most certainly is enough to meet all of our needs. And He's even gracious enough to meet our wants as well. Uh, He's enough to sustain us. He's enough to save us. And so the question isn't asking, is He enough? The question is really asking, do I believe that He's enough? Do I believe that He's not only enough to save me from my sin, but is He enough to sustain me? Is He enough? That's the question uh, that I often have to ask myself that I'm learning um, to ask myself and understand what that means played out in my life. And there's a passage of scripture that I want to share with you. And it comes from Colossians chapter one that I think explains uh, this idea really well. And it's Colossians chapter one, starting in verse 15. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or authorities. All things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of the cross. And what this text is pointing us to is answering that question, is Jesus enough? And the, and the answer is a resounding yes. This text would tell us that Jesus is actually the goal. Jesus is the purpose. Jesus is the reason that you and I exist, that this world exists. Jesus is the purpose for all of it. And He is the one that deserves the glory for all of it. He's preeminent in all things. And so, in asking this question, is Jesus enough? The answer is certainly yes. Then the real question becomes, do I believe that? And if I believe that, that changes everything. That changes the scope of how I live my life. That changes how I see myself. That changes how I see the world around me. That changes how I see people. That changes how I deal with hardships. That changes how I deal with when an unexpected pandemic comes our way. That changes everything. And the reality is this, that if He can create all of this, and if He can bring all of this about and make this all possible, and sustain it, then surely He's enough to meet all of our needs in the most difficult of circumstances that we would find ourselves in. And so, like I said, this is something that that I've continued to learn and that I'm trying to learn and that God is working in, in my heart, really, truly, actually believing that Jesus is enough. And the reality is for all of us, until Jesus is enough, Nothing in this life ever will be.